Hey folks, welcome back. This morning we are up here cleaning the barn. These lovely ladies are in need of some clean alleys and clean stalls. And also their feed to get pushed in. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna push in some feed and then we're gonna clean group one. They clean the stalls while they're putting in cows to the parlor. Um, Jesus, her dad, clean stalls. And then um, the rest of it, the rest of the barn, I clean the stalls and then and scrape the barn and push the cows. So let's get right after it. <laughs> So the milking barn's cleaned out at both ends of the day while they're milking and the stalls are cleaned as well and at the end of every group there's these slats that go into a manure pit and we work the manure back and forth on these over these slats they call them and that's a way that we don't have to have an open gutter at the end of each barn or anything like that and it seems to work pretty well for us I know that there's lots of different variations out there um, different types of systems to get the manure to where it needs to be is in the pit so this is just what seems to work for us pretty good it's what we installed in our old Morton barn when we built that and now it's gotten put in the new barns as we build them so that's what's going on here these girls are ready to head to the parlor Let's go.
messed up. I can't say I remember anybody ever doing that before, so I guess I'm special. So we got the all the cows are in the parlor and everybody that's back in the barn is already all milked. So we just gotta scrape this alley. We already hold the stalls as you saw there. And we will be done. folks what's up so sorry we've been a little bit inactive here lately but uh, as of right now we have 48 more days until I'm back on the farm so not that I'm counting down or anything so um, just went to Culver's for supper got myself a butter burger what's more Wisconsin than that don't mind the fish tank in the back seat of my pickup Brooklyn had to go to Petco and pick that up because she got a grant because she is going to be an ag teacher in September so um, that's gonna be right close to home there so we're gonna be farming it and ag teacher in it so that'll be fun just pulling back into the old apartment here We've got the old tech village uh, this is on the Fox Valley Community College um, campus kind of it's like student housing so this is where we're at for the summer. I'm gonna drop a picture right in here of the farm, uh, just of what you can see from the road because um, they have a, the Breeze Dairy Group has a uh, no pictures policy, which that's okay, it's their farm. So um, unfortunately no content or pictures there, but is what it is, so. But this is an extremely nice farm. I'm learning a lot, learning a lot of different things that we could do to make the farm even better when I get back to New York. So an extremely well-run farm, learning a lot, and just glad to be here, but can't wait to get home. Thanks for watching along. Remember to like, subscribe, and eat your dairy products, and have a great day.